What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I would like to talk about five things that I would like to see added in to the Red Dead Online mode. Of course now Rockstar is talking about more additions coming this summer of new things and of course of a lot more stuff coming kind of to the game overall throughout its life cycle. There was five things that I really would like to see added to the game. The first thing would be the ability to change your character's appearance. Of course you can go to the barber shop in the online mode change your hair and teeth, but I'd like to be able to change the character's entire, uh, kind of, you know, just the whole appearance overall, because if you're like myself and you started playing this back when it was first released, uh, back in November when the beta was released for the online mode, uh, you might want to change the look of your character. Like I said in a past video, I'm very OCD. I, I could have been a lot higher level or a lot higher rank in the online mode than I am now. I probably had six or seven characters before I ever really got to that character that I really liked the look of. But I know there's a lot of people out there that would love to change the look of their character. So that would be a nice addition. The ability to change your character's look overall. Or maybe just the ability to create more character slots. You know, so you can have more than just one character. So whichever one would work well for me, in my opinion. I think we need a bag space upgrade. I think we need, we need, we need to be able to buy, you know, bag space upgrades. Maybe from, you know, wherever. The butcher, the clothing store, whatever the case would be but something that can give us larger bag space or even have the ability to craft our own bags from hides that we have collected. That would be even cooler in my opinion than having to just buy it outright, but I'm sure if that is added, it will be a thing that you have to purchase, but we definitely need more bag space for everything. I think we need more bag space to carry more meat. Of course, you know, anything else that you pick up along the way, plants or whatever, we just do not have a lot of bag space available right now in the online mode. And I think more bag space would be a huge plus because it was a big help in the story mode as well. Um, I think that some things that were talked about kind of within the game first releasing in the online mode back early October, November, when the game was kind of just, just about to come out. Um, they talked about housing in the game. You know, I don't know if any of you saw that video or, or kind of read the article. They talked about this, but they showed images of houses, players being able to purchase houses within the game. I think this would be a great idea. Of course, this would be something like GTA five, but the ability to purchase a house anywhere and or kind of any area that you would like in game, I think would be a lot of fun. I hope they add that soon. Of course, of course that was mentioned, like I said, back when the game was kind of first coming out or right before it came out in uh, beta form for the online mode. And there's really been no discussion about the housing options since that time. Another thing, of course, I've talked about these two things here uh, that I'm about to mention in some past videos. But first of all, businesses, uh, the ability to run your own business, maybe the ability to run your own bar, your own saloon, uh, hotel, whatever the case may be, of course, Maybe they're going to implement something like that within the new role system when that comes out this summer, so we'll have to wait and see. But something like that where you could make a larger sum of money daily or the option to uh, have bank or train robberies, like kind of like Heist and GTA. I think that would be a lot of fun, especially in this kind of time period that the game is set in. I think bank robberies or uh, train heist would be a great thing. Even You could even go... You know, if you want to make a kind of heist idea, but have less, you know, money involved and less danger involved, you even can do things like stagecoaches and whatnot, or even house robberies, whatever the case may, would be. I think any of those options added would be a big plus for players online because any way that you can make extra money and make larger sums of money than just playing missions or, you know, whatever you're doing in game right now would be a, a great thing in my opinion. And last but not least, I would like the addition of some new horses in the online mode, maybe some that are kind of harder to find, harder to break, something that you do not have to purchase, something that is, you know, you have to go out and actually look for or do steps to get achievements to unlock, or just the ability to be able to lasso horses in the wild, break them, and keep them for your own. Kind of like in the single player. I, I mean, I understand that they want people to purchase horses, but I, I think the game needs less purchasable things. And more things where you can go out and get these items on your own by doing, you know, achievements or just whatever the case may be. Like I said, just going out and finding the horse that you want, lassoing it, and, you know, then uh, breaking it and training it from that point. I think that would be a great addition as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know some of your thoughts, of course, some things that you would like to see, like to see added to the game. 
as this summer and fall and of course the life cycle of the game goes on and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace